Things I'm gonna miss in Florida. Spindrift. Matching. Sure. <laughs> mm. All right, it's finally that time. Last week in Florida, and I just decided two seconds ago that I just want to vlog little clips throughout the week before we officially leave Florida and on to our next adventure, which I will talk about later in this vlog. I made some cauliflower gnocchi with just a marinara sauce, and some onion, and sauteed like fresh tomato. And I put some Parmesan cheese on it. Just really simple. And I was also just like, this is like a small bowl, but I was having like some crackers and cheese and fruit and just snacking on like random stuff. I've been doing a lot of snack plates for lunch lately. And it's just been nice because sometimes I'll skip, not skip lunch, but I just feel like I'll wait like a long period of time in the middle of the day without eating. And I get so hangry, I don't feel good. And it's usually because I'm like running after Sage, trying to get work done. And you just don't feel good when you like skip that midday meal and you're just like snacking on random stuff. But if you snack intentionally on a snack plate that actually has like your protein, your veggies, your fruit, your healthy fats and all that, you feel satiated and just a lot better throughout the day. I'm so hot. Oh. I may have overcooked it. It's a little mushy. Things I'm gonna miss in Florida, Spindrift. This is the pineapple flavor and it's life. That's all I'm saying. It's so good. Carbonated water, pineapple juice. I'ma make you when I get back home. Mm, it's like just, mm. Also, I'm finally part of the cool trend. I got my Stanley massive. I think this is the 40 ounce traveler. It's dishwasher safe. This just got even better, but it has a straw and it actually fits into a cup holder in the car because Matt hates my hydro flask because it's like just an awkward shape. So it just rolls around at the bottom of the car, but this actually fits into the cup holder. And apparently it keeps your water ice cold for like two days. I love it and I just feel like I'm drinking so much water with this. But yeah, things I'm, that make me happy. <laughs> I will miss cauliflower gnocchi from Trader Joe's too. But Sage is sleeping. We're doing a little bit of packing up. We are here, it's Sunday currently. Um, we are leaving Wednesday. We're leaving Florida, making our way to our next adventure and it's a little bittersweet which I'll go into more later in this vlog, but I just wanted to get clips throughout the week, um, us packing up, wrapping up this time, because you guys have been with us during this adventure and journey, and I just figured we could end this chapter together. And it just feels like bittersweet because Florida feels like a second home to us right now. And it's just been a really awesome time to be here. It's bittersweet. I'm sad to leave, but I'm also excited for like the next steps in our life. So we're basically, today is just like, I was gonna be filming some campaigns today because I have a couple to wrap up before we leave, but I think I'm gonna do it tomorrow. So I have to order groceries today. I'll probably order them online. And then I think today is just kind of, um, I have like one small IG reel I have to do for a brand and then, which is in the pool. So pool afternoon for sure. Um, and then we're just kind of like packing up, doing laundry, cleaning up, sorting through things, anything we're gonna donate that we don't wanna bring with us on our road trip. Yeah, Sunday, clean out and getting stuff done. Okay, I'm so excited. By the way, I realize like I look really tired today and it's cause I am, okay, I'm tired. Life is tired with a toddler, but also it's just because I have no makeup and stuff, but I did sleep in. Matt took Sage this morning and I slept until 8.30. It was glorious, but obviously not enough sleep. <laughs> okay, so um, because we have a road trip ahead of us, I figured um, it'd be good to get Sage like one of those Amazon, I don't know what they're called, like a Fire HD tablet. 
um, it's like a much cheaper version of like an iPad for kids and it's like only like movies and games and stuff that are like appropriate for them. It's more durable because it has like a case around it. I'll put a photo of it here. Basically, I just went on because we're only here for a few more days. So I thought if I want to order it, I got to order it soon. And I don't know, is it like Prime Day or something? It's usually like 130. It's on sale for 69. So like almost half price. So and it will deliver same day. Okay, another thing I'm going to miss about the States, like, what the heck? Same-day delivery. Like, I feel like we have it... Do we even have same-day delivery? No, next day. And it's like, if you're buying toothpaste, I don't know. Not stuff that you, like, really need. So, I think I'm just going to order one because we have an iPad, but it's not in, like, a baby-proof case. Also, it doesn't have, like, something for us to, like, connect it to things. And not that, like, no judgment on, like, kids with screens, like... Sage watches her fair amount of TV. It's like how we survive. Um, but like when we're traveling or, you know, after she's eaten at a restaurant, like you gotta, sometimes you gotta pull it out. Like what you're just, they're just gonna be bored staring at you eating. They're gonna freak out. Um, you know, car rides, plane rides, like that is the time. No shame. That's the time to use them, you know, and I don't feel bad about that. So I think it's just smart parenting. Why put yourself through that? You can still limit their time and stuff, but it's nice to have something like this for traveling, which we've been doing a lot of. We have learned very quickly on how to entertain a one and a half year old. And also she won't even like, this won't even entertain her the entire time. Like we got to switch it up all the time. So I think this will be good because you can preload stuff. This is not an ad, but I'm really excited. Okay, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we need. I've been trying to like order last minute stuff like vitamins, just anything that we need that I know will arrive this week. By the way, I have an Amazon shop where I have like all the categories of like my baby food equipment, my affordable fashion finds, like kitchen things, like a bunch of different categories. I'll link it down below. You guys can shop my favorites on Amazon because I got a lot of questions about like specific items and a lot of them are there. Uh, I am trying to like update it when I, add, when I find new products, but I will add the Amazon fire hd fire tablet because this is really cool all right i'm gonna figure this out but anyways just want to update you on it um i guess i'll get to show it to you guys tomorrow because it's gonna arrive tonight which is so crazy but yeah i think i'm gonna get a case for it okay that is all guys pause this for one sec all right got some amazon deliveries I didn't vlog any of it, but we actually spent the afternoon in the pool. We've just been trying to get some nice pool sessions in before we leave. Hang on, dishwasher is noisy. So we just spent a couple hours in the pool. I actually had to shoot a little um, IG reel. Uh, so we shot that and then we just spent the rest of the time in the pool, which is why I have a little bit of makeup on. <laughs> so behind the scenes of Instagram. Um, okay, so we got the fire tablet. We haven't set it up or anything yet, but I like that it has like a little um we call it stand so you can actually stand it up if you're at a restaurant or something or you could like slide it in i've seen people put it on airplanes like in the little slot in front of you just kind of slide it in there so essentially sorry say just playing with lego essentially it's a tablet that has this like protective memory not memory foam like foam like a hard foam case around it and i didn't end up getting a case because i felt like it's going to go in the diaper bag or something okay i also got a couple of new like car toys this one here is by mushy i really like their stuff i actually got um i already ordered one of these or like more adult size utensils but i got another color she has a purple set already but she really really likes them so i got her just the ivory and then this is a little like pushy thing, flower thing. So I thought that was cute. I'm trying to get like new car toys that she can discover. And then this is by the company Blue Ginkgo. And it's really cute. It's this like, I don't know, like silicone-ish. Yeah, silicone stackable rainbow. But I saw on the little like commercial that they had on their like Amazon shop that like you can like do different things with them. I don't know. I just thought they were interesting so i don't know we'll see if she likes them but just new things for the road trip to get her interested oh and then i got some more vitamin d i just get this one from Genestra. it's just the d emulsion 1000 natural lemon flavor actually i didn't even check the flavor when i got it but i feel like they're all they're all good i'm just basically ordering like last minute amazon things but we are back in from the pool i have i'm gonna try my goal today is to pack up my clothes 
Matt has like our suitcases all laid out in one of the bedrooms and we actually ended up finally buying like proper adulting life suitcases. Like I've never really bought myself luggage like once years ago when we went to Australia and then I ended up leaving it in Australia because we like downsized as we were living there. But yeah, anyways, I got this really cute matching set. We have uh, two carry-ons and then like a, like a checked luggage size. So, and we've already sent home a lot of stuff with my family who were visiting, as well as my sister Chloe who drove back uh, home. She's there with Cashew, which is why Cashew's not here, but she's in good hands. She's at my mom's and she's just like loving her life. She was so excited when she got there. And I think she's just like done with the travel life, to be honest. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, have a snack and figure out what Sage is gonna have for dinner. She is carrying one of Matt's dirty socks. Is yeah. that your new toy? Okay. I was asking her what she wanted to wear and I was like pulling out outfits and she's like, no. Another one? No. Another one? No. I'm like, six outfits later. I'm like, I say no to everyone. She picks one out. I'm like, so this one? And then she said no to it two seconds later. I'm like this girl is teasing me. Sagey, I can't even get her on the vlog anymore because she is so on the go. Like busy toddler. I finally understand that term. Very, very busy. Is that the ice cream truck? Oh. Sounds like it. I kind of could go for ice cream. Do you want ice cream? You want to play with that? Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Also, I'm wearing my new vintage Disney World t-shirt that we got from Disney World. I love it. I just want to like live in it. I kind of wish I got like a couple of other ones, but if you have not watched the Disney World vlog slash how to survive Disney World with a family slash toddler, uh, watch that here. And oh my God, save just putting that in my mouth. Okay, bye. What are you doing? Did you have fun in the pool? No. No, everything's no. No, thanks. Do you have your snacks? Yeah. Say snacks. No. <laughs> For Sage's dinner, I got some cucumber and some homemade baba ganoush I made last night, strawberries, broccolini with some butter, corn, and avocado. So just a little mix match of a few different things. Da, da, da. All right, so we have about 10 minutes before Sage's swim coach gets here. I'm gonna make a quick smoothie. I already had my first breakfast of the day. I did a slice of sourdough bread with an omelet that I made for the family. Well, it's for Sage, but there was extra, so Matt and I had it. I'm gonna make a smoothie because I'm trying to like use up the produce and frozen fruit that's in the fridge since we're leaving in a couple days. And I'm also just hungry. I usually have two breakfasts every day because breastfeeding life. <laughs> Coach is here. Let's go swim. Then I would keep behind her so she. Yeah. Well, and now we can still see her mouth well enough, her chin. Well, yeah. If you see that her chin is up, you're you're still determined. You can also look from the side. You know, she let's see. She can see you a little bit. That's okay. Yay! That's a good girl. Just remind her chin up or chin head up. back or head back. Put your head back. That's it. Put your head back. She's good. She's good. Good job. Wow, you're doing so good. Just think happy thoughts. <laughs> you're doing so good, Paige. She's still very relaxed. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Now, why don't you try to take her under? Okay. okay. One, okay. two. Oh. Yay! Oh. Yay! Oh.
All right, I am done a bunch of work. I'm now moving on to prepping kind of like a late lunch. We're doing a shoot for Sobeys. We're doing a little picnic lunch shoot. So Sage has had her lunch already. Matt and I have not. Um, so we are gonna go to a nearby like park area and just create a little picnic scene. Enjoy an actual picnic. I'm making uh, some tuna salad sandwiches. I'm gonna see if Sage will eat one too. She hasn't had tuna. Has she had tuna before? She definitely hasn't had a tuna salad. So I'm gonna make them for us. Um, yeah, it's already like three o'clock, but I've just been snacking. I finished my green smoothie and I'm gonna make some Sam Sammy. So I am also just watching some YouTube on the side. Sage will probably be up in the next half an hour. And then we're basically just gonna like head there quick so we can get some photos and then just like chill out in the park and relax. You can run around and stuff. And then tonight we gotta like actually pack packs and stuff so that tomorrow is not like too hectic of a day because tomorrow is our last full day here in Florida, which is so crazy. So yeah, I'm gonna make this, watch a little YouTube. Oh, I'm actually watching Annie Jeffrey's channel. She is pregnant, um, which is so cool because I've been watching her for years now. And actually she reached out to me the other day on Instagram. I guess she found my videos through my pregnancy journey. And if you aren't watching her, if you like my videos, you'll love Annie's videos as well. Like I feel like we have similar views on like health and wellness and stuff. And I just love her videos. So, and her fashion advice, I'm always like, yep, yeah, need that add to cart. So you should check her out. I'll link her below, but um, it's just so cool to be able to connect with other people that maybe I followed over the years that are now following my journey. And we get to connect through motherhood and pregnancy. And like, I just, I love that stuff so much. It just like fills me up inside. And anyways, I just want to share that because I'm watching her video right now. I'm gonna make this, I'll do a little time lapse or something because I gotta get going. Matt went to go wash the car and like vacuum it out and stuff before our next trip. And he should be here soon. But see, I have like 25 minutes to finish making this before Sage gets up. So go time. <laughs> much left over of this avocado mayonnaise so I just added a half of an avocado mm. to still get that creamy texture. Mm. Alright we do a little taste test. Mmm I didn't even have to add any salt so lemon juice, even celery gives it like a natural salt saltiness. And then this is no added salt tuna, but I still find it salty. So just like watch the salt content if you're gonna give this to little ones. I get asked a lot of what kind of bread I give to Sage. I alternate a lot. This is one I recently got. I've actually worked with them before. Silver Hills, the sprouted, this is the squirrely bread. I guess I'm gonna do, I think I'll do four sandwiches because we have other snacks and I don't know if Sage will eat a full one. I'll see how much this makes. And then I gotta chop up. I feel like I could, oh, I need to, I need to work out. Oh. Funny enough, when I was pregnant with Sage, all I wanted was like egg and tuna salad sandwiches. Easy peasy. Ooh. Watermelon. All 
All right, we just got out to our little park. Gonna set up a little picnic scene. There's definitely people that are gonna be watching us, but it's okay. We're just filming us having a picnic. Nothing weird to see here. Great. We actually got the cutest picnic family photos. Make sure you follow me on Instagram here so you can go see them. I think they'll probably be live by the time this vlog goes up. But now is the time to enjoy the meal. A well-deserved late lunch. Also sage is into sticks, <laughs> like cashew. Okay, bye. 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 You stick girl? <coughs> this is hard with one hand. Mm. Also, Sage is a fan of the tuna salad. Oh. Well, there goes that. She picked the stick instead, but she took a bite and said, yum. Mm. No, don't mm. eat the stick. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay, well. That review just went out the window. She said yum about the stick. how to use a water gun. I don't even know how she, how she learned. Whoa! Ooh. Is she doing that by herself? Ah! No. I was like, whoa, Sage. dip in the pool we went skinny dipping are we like cool parents for doing that it was very exhilarating and we we're just trying to get full advantage of the pool before we leave um, but I'm actually gonna do a little baking I have some baking ingredients to use up so I got my cookbook if you don't have a copy this is what it looks like okay I just like yeah just ignore this but this is delicious and I'm making that's funny, it's on the same page as my raw chocolate chip cookie dough bites, which I made the other day, so that's why that's there. Okay. Anyways, it's on page 188. It's my new fashion chocolate chip cookies. There's no photo, although there's like a photo for every other single recipe. Lots of amazing family-friendly recipes. Okay, this button here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make some cookies. They're so really easy to make. I don't really have like equipment. I have a whisk and I think that's really all I need. I'm gonna bake, preheat the oven to 350, um, but I'm gonna make cookies while Matt starts to pack the food stuff. We're gonna go through things, see what, if there's anything that's not open, we can donate it to a food bank. Um, and then we're just trying to use up like everything that's open before we go so we don't have to carry too much with us in the car. Also, I feel like a ninja, I'm wearing all black. I'm not gonna do a whole time lapse of me making it, but I'll show you what they look like when they're done. And we'll eat cookies together, they're so good. They're, the recipe calls for coconut oil, but I'm using grass-fed butter. It's already softened because I planned ahead. Do and Matt's cleaning out the kitchen. <laughs> He's like, do we need this? Do we need this? Do we need this? Do you think I look beautiful, Matt? Yeah. <laughs> I've taught him well.
They're so soft. Mmm. Probably could have baked for like another minute, but they're so good. I think I need a glass of milk. Mm hmm Milk. <laughs> How I'm not gonna eat like six of these before bed, I don't know. Mm. Good morning. Mm. Last day in Florida. Last full day. Sage is having the coconut blueberry baby cakes from the Baby Health Nut Cookbook. They're one of her favorites. It's like the only way she'll eat blueberries cooked. She doesn't like them fresh. Wait for it. Mmm. Is that good? Okay. Yeah. All right, so Matt and I are just having a little lunch date outside. Leftovers. Got some rotisserie chicken or oven roasted chicken. Mm -hmm. um, some potatoes and Sage's leftover peas. Yay. <laughs> We're like, why not? We've done a really good job at cleaning out the fridge, so I'm quite proud. Just enjoying my last bit of spin drift. The pineapple is definitely my favorite. Mm hmm That's pretty good. Damn, that's good. So we're fueling up. Sage had such a good swim lesson this morning. We did a double lesson this morning since it's her last one. We're gonna try to squeeze one more in tomorrow morning, but it didn't work out, so we got a double whammy today and Sage did so good. Like I'm just so proud of her and it's just crazy to see how far she's come in just a short period of time. So really cool. Like she inspires me. I'm like, wow, like you can just learn a new skill like that. Obviously like kids learn faster, but like still it was just crazy to see like she can't, she couldn't do this stuff a couple weeks ago. So anyways, we're eating. Okay. So let me, let me give you the plan. We're still trying to figure it out, but basically what's next we are leaving Florida tomorrow morning and heading on a two week road trip back home to Canada. So usually when we drive back home, if we're driving and not flying, I feel like we're just like, get there as fast as we can. I don't know, we just have like tunnel vision and we're, we're just like driving for two days straight and it's just kind of hectic. So this time we thought, let's just slow things down, really enjoy the journey. Like we don't have to be back by a certain time for any specific reason. Uh, so it's just, we wanna hit some spots like um, we're hitting Savannah, which I've, we've already stayed a night there and it's beautiful. It's such an old historic city and I'm so excited to go back. So we have a couple nights there. We're going to Myrtle Beach. Then I think the longest stretch is Myrtle Beach to Washington, D.C. That's been on Matt's like bucket list for a long time. So we're going to check out that. And then I think Philadelphia, possibly New York City, like Manhattan, which we've been so many times, but not with a toddler. So that could be interesting. Spend a night in Buffalo. So we're not rushed and we can hit up Tar Target and Trader Joe's before we cross and then head back to homeland. So hopefully the weather back home is warming up. I hear it's warmer today. So I'm hoping it's not snowing when we get there. It's actually like sunshine and spring weather. So that is essentially the plan. It's gonna be a little crazy with Sage, but uh, we just haven't done a long road trip with her this age. So, you know, I have some things planned out, which I'm going to probably vlog our road, I will vlog our road trip going up. So I'll share like tips and stuff that I'm learning along the way, um, pun intended. And yeah, that's, ooh, it's hot today. Why am I wearing a sweater? Oh, I think it's like 31 degrees Celsius today. It's a hot one. Okay, I'm going to eat, but I want to just give you guys like an update on what's next. And then I'll have to just do a complete other life update on what's next back home in Canada, because that's a whole other thing. So lots of updates, but you know what? We are craving some routine and stability, um, but I'm also like, we're just enjoying this time in our lives, like being a little bit adventurous, traveling around as a family, uh, especially, you know, since we haven't been able to do that for a couple of years, it's just been nice to have a little bit more sense of freedom. It's been a little chaotic, a little stressful at times, but I, it's worth it. And we've just had an amazing time here. So very grateful that we've been able to do this and what we thought was gonna be a month turned into like five plus months, which is kind of crazy, but very grateful. And we've just been, you know, enjoying the hot weather and the sunshine. And we're also excited to go back home and see everyone and just um, spend the summer in Canada because it is 
like the best time to visit Canada. So that's the plan. All right, this is the packing situation. Also, we got these new luggages. Oh, we still have stickers on them. I'm from Bays. I will try to link them all down below. We got a pack of a set of three, two carry-ons, and then one checked. And they're so beautiful. There's so many like cool features about it and stuff. And anyways, you can check their website, but I think they're beautiful. And Shay Mitchell, she's a Canadian actress, started this company and I've just been following them for a while and I got the gray. Um, so what we're going to do is Matt and I are going to try to just get all of our stuff into one carry on um, for the next few days. And then this is like all of the stuff that we don't need. Also, I have Sage's clothes for the next few days in a smaller bag as well. So we can just bring this. I also have like her shoes and stuff that she's going to need. This is to go in her diaper bag. Um, so this is just an extra bag. I packed like pajamas, stuff for cool weather, hot weather. Since we're going in between states, it's going to change a bit. So I don't know exactly what the weather is going to be, but that's all of her main stuff. And then she'll have her like diaper bag that we bring with us. All right, you're balancing on some pillows. So I have some packing cubes. I'm gonna go grab and see what will fit where. I may have to take some stuff out and just put them in the main like checked in bag. I just, I haven't decided what I wanna wear the next few days. And sometimes I hate having to decide like early when I don't know how I'm gonna feel that day, you know? So that's the plan. Also, car blanket is essential for road trips. So um, this is the blanket we used for our picnic the other day. Or yesterday I guess uh, so I'm gonna bring that just to have in the car because even when it's hot outside if there's AC on in the car it's just like something cozy and yeah so Sage's outfit I already have packed we got some sh or set aside we got some shoes a white t-shirt little tie-dye short and sweater set and then some socks so she's ready to go I have my outfit ready to go I feel like it's really handy to have your outfits day of like traveling set aside ready to go so you're not like digging through your like packed bags and yeah i'm just like finishing things up okay i'm gonna go get my packing bags packing cubes are life um anyways these are not all gonna fit on my side of this luggage i don't think so so i might have to condense this into two and put the other one in the main bag um but yeah packing cubes are the best I got these super cheap off Amazon. Matt has a set of blue and we've had them for the longest time. I'll link them down below, but they're just really handy and they just help compress and organize everything. So I just have to downsize a little bit more, but we're getting there. Sage, come here, come here. You have to say hi over here. Oh no, that's why it's always foggy. Mm. Yeah, you gotta say hi from over here. Oh, say hi, show them your book. Show them your book. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Oh, we are packing and entertaining a toddler. Oh, okay. Yeah. You gonna read them a book? Yeah. Okay. Hey, eat your food. Eat your food. Good morning! It's officially the day we are leaving. Uh, yeah, mixed feelings. Like I said, um, it's just weird to be official. Like we've been moving a lot in Florida, but this time, like we are leaving Florida, so it just feels it hits a little different, you know. But we're having a nice, nutritious breakfast, even though Sage is um, not eating some of her pancakes. She we let her like watch the Wiggles uh, for a little bit in the living room, but she was just like carrying her okay she does this thing where she's done eating she like throws her plate and we have it on this today so that's okay oh are you dorothy are you dorothy the dinosaur what does she do she eats her pancakes that's what she does if you don't know who dorothy the dinosaur is it's probably probably a good thing so i'm actually having a nice hearty bowl of oats we're gonna try to squeeze in a family morning walk before we hit the road just to get in some steps some movement fresh air oh hot 
I didn't even update you. We're all really tired. Surprise, surprise. She must be going through this like sleep regression or something. Or I don't know if it's she's getting too much sleep during her daytime naps. Okay, let's not. Okay, we don't have to throw it on the ground, okay? You're lucky you're cute. Yeah, she woke us up, well, me, um, I think at four in the morning. And then mommy gave you milk? Oh, oh no, yeah. I said the word. Okay, well, I am gonna give you milk. Okay, yeah. Did you get breakfast? Not really. Even the strawberries? There's more strawberries. Yeah, she didn't wanna. Mm. You want mommy's breakfast? Yes. No? Anyways, she was up. We're all, we're all tired. And I'm gonna go give her some milk. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go. Alright, this is uh, five and a half months worth of stuff. Oh my god. I mean, some of it is food, which we won't actually have when we cross, but there's a lot going on here. Sage has been having big feelings all morning, and I'm ready to have a big feeling. <laughs> It's like, I don't know if it's foreshadowing of this road trip, but holy, it's been a morning. So I don't know if it was like her waking up in the middle of the night that's like made her really emotional this morning, but she's playing in the car seat with, I got her some like cool like fidget toys for the road trip that she can play in the car seat. And then we have some other stuff. We are, we are prepared. I'm gonna sit in the back seat with her, keep her entertained, but we're playing in Kanto. She's got her fidget toys and just like wish us luck because this is gonna be an adventure. Whew, deep breaths, deep breaths, Matt. Yo, <laughs> we're almost there. Yeah, I'm just. Oh. All right, we are stopped at our first, well, the first couple stops were just errands. Uh, we are charging up. So we're at one of those like superchargers, charging the Tesla, and I think there's like a cute little Mexican restaurant here. Um, I'll, I don't know, I can't remember the name of it, but we're just gonna have like a sit down lunch. So Sage can eat while we, I was gonna say fill up on gas, but while we uh, fill up on electricity. I don't know, this whole electric car thing is new to me. But yeah, I've just been doing some work and stuff on the go, some calls. I feel like I've had a really productive drive so far. It's probably loud. Anyways, we're gonna go eat. Um, I'll show you guys what we get and then I'm probably gonna end this vlog and go on to the road trip vlog. So let's go see what we're gonna have for lunch. Have arrived I actually just started the next vlog that you haven't seen yet oh watch watch her on that step I wanted to end our last week in Florida now since we are officially in Savannah Georgia at our new Airbnb which I just did a little house tour of it's so stinking cute it has like modern what do you call it like modern century vibes is that what it's called? Mid-century, mid-modern, mid-century. I should not be an interior designer. But I'm just so excited to be here. I love the city, but it was a little sad saying bye to Florida and just like ending that chapter. Um, but on to the next chapter and we're just really excited to take you guys along and you know, wish us luck because it's hard traveling with a toddler. Let me tell you. If you think it's easy because I share like the pretty cute parts of it, um, just know like, whew, there's times where I'm like, is this worth it? We should have stayed home, but it's something we get to just experience and enjoy as a family. And like, I know I'm gonna look back and be like, these are the good days, but sometimes it doesn't feel like it. Yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Say subscribe, subscribe. Okay, Sage is just like exploring the entire Airbnb. Okay, mwah, love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. 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 <laughs> Sage, bye. Bye. Look at those curls. Can anyone translate that? Does anyone speak oh. gibberish? <laughs>